Hello and welcome guys to your reception. This video is all about the ICSC 2021 Physics Board Examination. In the video, we are going to discuss the reduced syllabus for physics, the board question paper pattern for physics, and we will also discuss a few tips using which you can maximize your score. So make sure that you watch this video till the end. And if you like the video, do hit the thumbs up button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel, Reception. Without further ado, let's begin. Let's begin with the reduced syllabus. Let's go chapter by chapter. First, machines. From machines, levers have been removed. That means you don't have to study anything regarding levers in machines. Next, refraction of light. In refraction of light, multiple images in thick glass plate or mirror has been removed. Next, refraction through a lens. In that chapter, from the section of power of a lens, the numericals have been removed. You will have to study the concepts and the basics of power of a lens, but the numericals have been removed. In the same chapter, magnifying glass and simple microscope have been removed. Next, from spectrum, scattering of light and its application have been removed. Next comes sound. Now from sound in the section of characteristics of sound that is loudness, pitch and quality, only the meaning of these three terms and the factors affecting these three terms are left. Other than that, everything else has been removed from the section characteristics of sound. So only the meaning and the factors affecting loudness, pitch and quality of sound is left. Next comes current electricity. Now in current electricity, two topics have been removed. First, experimental verification of Ohm's law has been removed. Second, the derivation of expressions for equivalent resistance have been removed. Next comes household circuits. From household circuits, house wiring, power distribution, two-way switch and staircase wiring have been removed. So these four topics have been removed from household circuit. Next comes electromagnetism. And this is where the fun is. The entire chapter of electromagnetism has been taken out from the syllabus. So the full chapter of electromagnetism has been removed. And it was very difficult too. Next comes calorimetry, that is heat. From calorimetry in the section of latent heat, the numericals have been removed. So the numericals for latent heat have been removed from calorimetry. Next comes radioactivity. That is the last chapter which comes under modern physics. From radioactivity, nuclear fission and nuclear fusion have been removed. So guys, this was all regarding the reduced syllabus for physics. Do check it out and study accordingly. Now we will move on to the question paper pattern. Moving on to the question paper pattern. The ICSC 2021 physics board question paper will be of 80 marks and you will get two hours to solve the whole thing. You will also get additional 15 minutes to read the question paper. That means full marks 80, writing time two hours and question paper reading time 15 minutes. The question paper is divided in two sections. Section 1 40 marks and Section 2 40 marks. Let's begin with Section 1. Section 1 40 marks. This is a compulsory section and you will have to attempt all the questions over here. You will get 4 questions in Section 1 of 10 marks each to give you 4 into 10 40 marks. Generally in Section 1 each question has 5 subparts of 2 marks each. Now guys over here I would like to tell you for section 1 that there is no general chapter combination for section 1. Questions are asked from all the chapters jumbled up. Okay. So that was all regarding section 1. Now let's move on to section 2. Section 2 40 marks. You will have to attempt any 4 questions in section 2. You will get question 5, 6, 
7, 8, 9 and 10. That means you will get 6 questions and out of those 6 questions you will have to attempt any 4. Each question is of 10 marks. So 4 into 10 gives you 40 marks. Now there is a general chapter combination in section 2. What is that? Question 5 is from force, work energy and power and machines. Question 6 is from light. And by light, I mean all the three chapters of light. Refraction of light, refraction through a lens and spectrum. Question 7 is from sound. Question 8 is from electricity. And by electricity, I mean both the chapters of electricity. That is current electricity and household circuits. Question 9 is from calorimetry. That means heat. And question 10 is from radioactivity and one other chapter. Now, why I have written one other chapter over here? Because in the physics paper, question 10 was asked from radioactivity and electromagnetism. Now, electromagnetism has been taken out completely from the syllabus and a good portion of radioactivity has also been taken out. So, it is my thinking that for question 10, you will have questions from radioactivity and one other chapter. So guys, I would like to tell you for section 2 that as I told you, this is a general chapter combination. But this year, nothing is concrete because many things have changed and a lot of portions have been taken out from your syllabus. So it may happen that in one particular question, you may get questions from other chapters of 2 or 3 marks. So nothing is concrete over here. But I will say that the general pattern of section 2 will be with this chapter combination. Okay, but nothing is concrete this year. So guys, that was all regarding the question paper pattern for physics. Now we will move on to a few tips. Moving on to a few tips using which you can maximize your score. First, let's discuss the type of questions that you will face in the physics paper. In section 1, you will face short question and answers that will include definitions, SI units, CGS units, simple explanations, simple and short numericals and simple and small diagrams. You will also face a few concept based questions in section 1. So the questions will be short and you will have to write precise and to the point answers. Hence, you need not worry regarding section 1. Moving on to section 2. In section 2, you will face long question and answers and concept based question and answers. The long question and answers will include long explanations, big diagrams and by big diagrams, I mean the diagrams that require a lot of time for construction and long numericals that have big calculations. Adding to that, you will get concept based questions. Now, if you have checked out the physics papers since 2016 or 17, you might have found that many questions are concept based questions, especially in section 2. So to score good marks or full marks in physics, you need to have a good grasp and a great concept of all the topics. So that is very important. So guys, that was all regarding the type of questions that you will face in the physics paper. Now a few things to keep in mind while writing the paper. First of all, your paper should be clean. Now that is mandatory for all the papers. Secondly, whenever you are writing a formula in physics, for example, you are writing V is equal to I into R for electricity. You should write after writing V is equal to I into R, give a comma and write where V is the potential difference, I is the current and R is the resistance. Now this is not mandatory, but it is a good practice. Marks will not be deducted if you don't write that, but it is a good practice to write that. Then whenever you are drawing any diagram, draw it clearly and don't overwrite on the diagram. If you have missed something, like rub the whole thing and draw the diagram from scratch. So don't overdraw any diagram and mark all the arrows correctly, especially in the lens diagrams. Finally, whenever you are explaining something or writing any 
answer to a question in physics write it precisely and to the point don't exaggerate anything and don't beat around the bush simple and precise explanations are enough in physics you don't have to write anything extra so guys that was all regarding the type of questions and things you should keep in mind while writing the paper now we'll move on to a few tips that you can use to prepare for the physics exam the first thing with the preparation for physics is understanding all the concepts clearly if you want to score good marks or you want to score full marks in physics you need to understand all the concepts of all the topics that are in your syllabus like i already told you there will be many concept based questions to answer those questions you need to have a good understanding of all the topics so try to understand all the topics and try to get the concepts of all the topics that are in your syllabus there is a lot of material available online and reading helps a lot now read all the chapters from the very beginning to the end thoroughly at least twice or thrice that will surely help you try doing that and believe me that will surely help you to understand the topics so read the chapters thoroughly twice or thrice from the beginning till the end coming to the second thing with physics numericals around 30 to 35% of all the questions in the physics paper will be numericals so practicing numericals is also very important along with practicing numericals knowing all the formulas and where to apply those formulas is also very important when talking about numericals units is also very important now say for example you are asked to find the current when you find the current you have to write the unit along with that say for example 2 ampere or 0.5 ampere the ampere is very important over there if you don't write units you will lose marks so along with the numericals understand the si units and the cgs units carefully coming to diagrams there will be many diagrams in your paper you will be asked to construct the diagrams and questions will be asked from diagrams so studying all the diagrams is very important especially in chapters like light so guys the concepts first thing numericals second thing diagrams third thing so overall preparation of physics is very important to score good marks along with that try to go through at least the last 10 years of physics question paper that will surely help you go through and solve those papers model papers is also very important for physics so try to obtain model papers and solve those model papers within say 1 and a half hours to 1 hours 40 minutes that way you will be able to manage time also well time is not a big factor in the physics paper but still you will be able to manage your time if you solve model papers within 1 hour 30 minutes or 1 hour 40 minutes so guys that was my list of tips for your preparation if you have any other you can mention that in the comment section below for the others to know so guys that was all from my side regarding the icsc 2021 physics board examination i know you guys will do amazingly well in the exam so all the best new videos are coming very soon so stay tuned until then this is rishi on behalf of reception signing off